Hi, it's Cynthia. A lot of my courses fill up very quickly. So I started a couple of teachable courses and I wanted to show you what those look like. On Teachable, I created a Television Career Academy. I have a couple of classes up right now, a writer's course and a showrunner's course. So in my television series, Career Academy, it's very career focused, which is why the word career is in there. And going down to take a look at the courses offered currently, there are two. There is writing your first TV series and there is becoming a TV showrunner part one. You click on it, you'll get to that course. If you want to see a bit of a preview, there is a preview. I include things such as a series Bibles. What are the differences between a pilot script and a spec script? And then you can see a preview of the course. It starts with what should you write first? If you are writing an original series, how do I start writing a television or streaming series? The difference between what is a narrative scripted series versus an unscripted series. An unscripted series you'll recognize as examples could be a cooking show or keeping up with the Kardashians. They are not considered actors. They are considered real people who are talking as themselves. And that would be an unscripted series. So a scripted series, an easy way to remember it is scripted series, meaning you have actors who are reading dialogue off of a script. Then I go through the different parts that a writer will want to start assembling for their writer's portfolio. That includes a series Bible, a pilot screenplay, a pitch deck, and a proof of concept. What are all of these elements? The course will go through each one and give you examples. So this is an example of House of Cards, the series House of Cards, and the series Bible for House of Cards is included here. And if you go through and keep going in the class, um, well, you have to enroll to be able to unlock the rest of it. But then we'll be talking about, you can see here on the left side, there'll be, the topics are series Bible, what it is and why it's needed. Then television essentials, characters, story, and season arcs. There'll be videos on things such as story arcs. Are you a visual thinker? There's a self-assessment. Then I'll be going over before you write a pilot, understanding what a story beat is. Story beats are very important to understand because what often happens in a writer's career is that if they're not able to differentiate between a plot point or a story beat, then you'll get the sense as you're watching a piece that it keeps going, but not a lot is happening. It'll seem like there's one thing after another, but there isn't anything that's memorable because the story is what becomes memorable. So it's really important to learn the difference. And that's what we're covering here in terms of understanding story beats. I'll use the example of Star Trek, the 2009 film. And then we'll go into the pilot screenplay versus the spec script. The pitch deck is up next. What is a pitch deck? And let's figure out how to make one. Pitching your series, all important because if you don't grasp the concepts and skill sets of pitching a series, then your series could be incredibly well written, but it may end up staying on a shelf somewhere. Proof of concept, that is the newest tool in a writer's toolbox, which is really allowing writers to stand out and come across as really being authentic the second course in my television career academy on Teachable is the showrunner course. The showrunner course, the topic is quite large. And so I will be breaking this out into several parts. Part one is available right now. And the course will go through the nuts and bolts and an overview of what goes into becoming a showrunner. So you can see here from the example curriculum, there's the getting started where you'll see traits of the showrunner. What is the showrunner's vision? There is a self-assessment for you to take for to see what areas you already possess strongly and what areas you might want to work on. Then we go into the business of television with an overview, those areas that a showrunner should be quite familiar with. 
feature film versus television production and development is covered. And what's nice about learning the basics on the level of the showrunner is they are applicable to film as well. And then we'll talk about pre-production, production, and post-production and all the different areas that a showrunner needs to be aware of. The production crew chain of command and how it all works together seamlessly where the crew that the showrunner bring together, how all of those areas have to work together to execute your vision. Then we'll go into the development year and what does that mean for the showrunner? The showrunner's guide to pitch materials. This is all about those areas that help the showrunner to get their series off the ground. Things such as a log line. I include a cheat sheet here for you to look over to make sure you've covered all these areas for your television series as you're creating your series. There's a writing exercise. What makes or breaks a TV series? It comes down to your character. So we talk about there's a whole area on characters. Then the series season arc and why it is important is covered here visual character map of your series, the pitch deck and why that's so important and necessary, especially now that we are our generation on Zoom. And then broadcast networks, the money model and how your writing fits into that. And then a conclusion of part one. So this is in the showrunner course that is on Teachable. I will include that link below. I will be adding other courses and having those available in the coming months. I hope you continue to write and be creative and see you in the Teachable Classroom.